Hi everybody, my name is Karen. Today is the fourth week in our series called Big Questions. Can you count to four? One, two, three, four. Well done! In this series, we are going to answer some really difficult questions. Can you put your thinking face on? Hmm. Our answers are going to come from the Bible because we know that the Bible is true. The Bible is God's word. Who loves to worship Jesus? If you do, jump up on your feet and freeze like a statue. Then whisper, I love Jesus. Then shout, I love Jesus. Wow, I think we're ready to worship. Let's go. If I were a pirate, if I were a pirate, I'd go arr, I'd go arr, sailing on the ocean, sailing on the ocean, looking for treasure, looking for treasure, but I'm no pirate, but I'm no pirate, and I don't go arr. Sailing on the ocean, looking for treasure. Cause I've got Jesus in my heart. And Jesus, you're my treasure. You're my treasure. You are all I'm living for. Jesus, you're my treasure. You're my treasure. If I were a pirate, if I were a pirate, I'd go arr, I'd go arr, sailing on the ocean, sailing on the ocean, looking for treasure, looking for treasure. But I'm no pirate, but I'm no pirate, and I don't go arr, I don't go arr, sailing on the ocean, sailing on the ocean, looking for treasure, looking for treasure. Cause I've got Jesus in my heart. Jesus, you're my treasure, you're my treasure, you are all I'm living for, Jesus, you're my treasure, you're my treasure. You created me to be me, you created me to be free, you created me to worship you. And that's what I'm gonna do In every single way You're my treasure In every single way I'm gonna praise ya You are my God You are my King I'm gonna lift my voice and sing Cause I've got Jesus in my heart Jesus, you're my treasure You're my treasure You Jesus, you're my treasure, you're my treasure, cause I've got Jesus in my heart, Jesus, you're my treasure, you're my treasure. Can you take a deep breath in and out? Wow, that was fun. Now that we've used up some of our energy, I want you to go and find a comfy place to sit down or lie or stand. I want you to be comfortable. Let's close our eyes and ask God to help us before we answer the big question. Dear God, thank you that you made the heavens and the earth. Thank you that you are more powerful than anything else that you have made. Please open our hearts and help us to understand and to not be afraid because you rule and reign over all things. Amen. Are you ready for today's big question? Okay, here it is. What does the Bible say about the devil? What does the Bible say? The Bible sometimes calls the devil Satan. The word devil means enemy or liar. 
Did you know that the devil used to be an angel? Yes, but he wanted to be like God. But no one can be more powerful than God. The devil fought God and then God kicked him out of heaven. Ever since then, the devil has been working on earth, trying to destroy God and his people. That's you and me. He is God's enemy, but God is way stronger than the devil. The devil doesn't like anyone who's on God's side. Do you know why? Because the devil is jealous. He doesn't want us to be friends with Jesus and he can't stand it when we spend time with God. The Bible tells us that the Son of God was sent to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus is the Son of God and God sent Jesus to save us from our sins even before they created the earth. Jesus dying on the cross and coming alive again was not the backup plan, it was the plan. The devil cannot touch or harm those who live their lives under the protection of Jesus. Let's see if the Mission Control Center can help me explain this. Hello boys and girls, my name is Shannon. Welcome to the All Stars Mission Control Center. I'm in the lab with a super fun object lesson. Are you ready? Hmm, are you sure you're ready? If you are ready, I want you to hop onto your feet and I want you to do a little dance, do a little dance, do a little dance and breeze. Today, I bought this robot with me. Another word for robot is a traffic light. Let's see what these colors mean. The first one is red and red means stop. Can you do that with me? Stop. Our next color is orange and orange means beware. Can you do that with me? Beware. And our last color is green and green means go. Can you do that with me? Go. Let's do all three together. Stop. Beware, go! Now the devil is a very tricky guy. He doesn't always look scary. He tries to look something good and beautiful. Many times the devil will tempt us. The word tempt means that when we do something that we shouldn't be doing, that is where our big red stop comes in. Don't do it. Now, how do we know when we're doing something wrong or if it's a lie? Aha, you guessed right. We need to read our Bibles, which is God's word. There, God will tell us all the truths. And that is where our orange beware comes in. It's like a warning light. In the Bible, in James chapter 4, verse 7, it says, Resist the devil and he will flee from you. How do you think we can resist the devil? We resist the devil by choosing not to listen to him, but to listen to Jesus, to focus on Jesus, on his strength and his power and his truths. Now, I have got these running shoes with me. Do you know that the devil cannot handle when we speak about God's word and Jesus? He gets so scared. You know what he does? He puts on his running shoes and he runs as fast as he can to get away from you. And sometimes it's hard to do things that are always good and it's impossible to do it on our own. But do you know with God's power and his strength and the fact that he died on the cross for us, it has been dealt with. We can rely on his power, his strength and his truth. Now, whenever you're thinking of nasty things, or maybe you want to do something nasty, or maybe you're a little bit scared, I want you to remember to resist the devil. A big red stop, don't do it, and go run to Jesus by reading God's word and by praying. The best way to resist the devil is to focus on Jesus. I am so glad you joined me. Now back to you at home. Well, that all makes sense. Thanks, Mission Control. Whenever I see a robot, 
I am going to remember the green light. The green light means go. We can go to Jesus to focus on him and to remember not to be afraid of the devil. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we know that you are our all-powerful God and that you protect us from harm. Show us your ways, teach us and remind us every day to cling to you. Give us your strength to fight against the devil's tricks and temptations. Amen. Are you ready to learn today's Remember verse? Yay! Jump up on your feet and make a Bible with your hands. Today's verse comes from 2 Thessalonians. Can you say that after me? 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3. The Lord is faithful and will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. So, as you go into this week, I want you to remember what the Bible says about the devil. He is not something you need to be afraid of if you focus on Jesus. God has all power over the devil and he cannot harm you. God is our protector. We are safe when we trust in Jesus. Don't forget to check out our resource page. There is a coloring in picture, a game, and something fun to make. Have a great week. See you next Sunday.